Welcome back to my countdown show. Now my viewers have five cool things they're doing to defy their age. And they say they can help you look and feel younger. And I know it's never proper to ask a woman her age, but the women you're about to meet say it loud and proud. Let's start off with Wendy. Any idea how old she is? Yell them out, what do you guys think? 42. Right, 30s, 40s, 50s, right? 40. Well, that, I'm hearing a lot of 40s out there, some 50s. Let's find out if you have it right and reveal the first two age-defying tips from Wendy. Hi, Dr. Oz, I'm Wendy Eater from California. And people can never guess my age. They're shocked when I tell them. But I'm very proud to say that I'm 63 years old. Now the first cool thing I do to defy my age well into my 60s is the most simple item that everyone has at home. Ice. I rub ice all over my face each time I wash it. It closes my pores. This is something people don't know. The second cool thing I do to defy my age is I get at least 30% of protein in my diet every day. Part of staying young is staying strong, building muscle, and keeping your energy up, which is essential so nothing about you sets. She looks so good. I'm gonna start using this ice myself. Here, pass that down. I give you food most of the time, take the ice. Don't eat it, use it like this. It's actually sort of a smart idea. It closes up those pores. What do you think? It's a little cold, but... It's a little cold. I could feel it. But if it keeps you looking like that when you do it? Oh yeah, I, I would too. All right, Sandra's here. She's proud of her age. Let's reveal it to us. Are you here, Sandra? I am Sandra. You do look wonderful, and Thank I don't you. want to even guess. Uh, yeah, we have I would, to guess. I would give say... It, it a wild guess. I'm gonna say late 40s, although you look younger than that to me, but okay. I'm guessing that you're older than your the age you look, so late 40s. Mm, no. No? Try again. 52. You won't insult, you won't insult me. 52. No. What did you say, 58? Oh, they can see your card. <laughs> they saw her. No. Cheater, they're cheating that back. Actually, that's actually wrong, keep going. 59. 59. Are you really? 59. And you have the third cool thing we all need to do to, to stay young. What do you do yes. to look so good? So what I do is I actually do an ancient procedure. It's turmeric powder that you can get right at the supermarket. It's a half a cup of water and mix it up in the morning and drink that on an empty stomach. It'll actually detoxify your liver. And once the liver is detoxified, your skin will look radiant. Mm. How is that? It's got a little bite to it. Is it? <laughs> I'd mix this with vodka for sure. You would? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 we're cleansing the liver. We're cleansing <laughs> the liver. So you drink that in the morning, because a lot of times when the liver gets decongested, the skin will take over. Yeah. So then the skin will get, because the skin's like, oh wow, the liver is really clogged, so why don't we help it a little bit and start cleansing the body? So all these ailments and skin conditions and saggy skin and dullness and eczema, psoriasis, rosacea will start coming out on the skin. But once you cleanse the liver every morning, the skin will clear up. It'll be supple, soft, and even toned. Well, you know, I, tell you, they, I know that they use this a lot in India and other parts of yes, the world. Yes, that's right. And it's part of their medicinal tradition. We don't think about it much here. There is some evidence, by the way, that it's, it is anti-inflammatory. But I love the fact that you're using it. And frankly, if it's working for you, I, <laughs> I want to try it too. Great, every morning. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Right. <laughs> the fourth and fifth tip to define your age come from Felicia. How are you? So I'm going to have to ask if you're okay with I know you want to bark it out anyway. You, you also look fantastic. Thank you. Thank but I'm, I'm so intimidated from, from Wendy and other experiences <laughs> on the stage. I'm not going to guess. So how old are you? I'm going 50. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> well, how do you do it? Um, your eyes look perfect. Well, one of the things that my favorite and coolest thing that I do to define my age is that I swear by tea bags. For those of you that have tired eyes or puffiness, I work for traders, I have two kids, I get about five hours sleep. So once a week, I actually take black tea bags. I don't take anything that you can buy them over the counter in your grocery store. I soak them for about maybe about two minutes and then I put them on my eyes for a 10 to 15 minute period. Oh yes. Definitely like that. You push them in a little like that? Push them into a little. And then in the evening on, before I go to bed, I do it on a Sunday evening, and I have my favorite music. Perfect. And they, they also work for men, just so you know. They work they for do? men and their puffiness. And then the other coolest thing that I do, um, like I said, I swear by this, I have a roll-on that I carry in my purse. 
Um, I use it twice a day. A roll-on what? It's actually an eye roll-on, and it's a cooling for tired and puffiness. So in the morning, I use a roll-on. You can buy it over the counter. But usually you roll things on. It's literally just a roll-on? It's just a roll-on. It's a cooling effect. It takes care of the puffiness and the darkness, and it gives you a cooling They make effect. these things? Yes. I carry it everywhere I go. Like and so I use it's really nice. I use it in the day and I use it in the evening before I go to bed. Am and I, I usually it? you're doing it properly. So you just put it here, underneath here, and then sometimes I do it up here because my eyes always hurt. And then just right in this area. And then do it day and night. And I do it in the morning right before I put on my daily cream. But it's a little bit moist. Is there water in there? What's it's 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 actually a very light mixture of water and it's no chemicals, so it's very because the eye area is very fragile, so this is excellent for you. To I've put got it on. such big bags. I'm gonna try. Yeah. You can I keep this? You can keep that. Definitely. <laughs> you you can much. keep it. Right. Well, there, listen, there's not science to back up some of these things like this idea, but I gotta say, I think it's pretty cool that it's working oh, for you all. I'm very proud of you for sharing with us. My right, countdown show continues in today's conversation. I'm getting four opinions on shapewear. Now, it slims you down on the outside, but does shapewear falsely boost your confidence and make you eat more? Or does wearing restrictive shapewear keep your eating decisions in check by reminding you what's going on? So raise your hands if you think shapewear gets you to eat more than you normally would have. Hands up. Oh, we got to volunteer. So you think you eat more. Yeah, Dr. Oz, every time I wear shapewear, I feel like I've lost 10 pounds and suddenly I feel like I can eat so much more. And so do you? Yeah, I do. Like what I, else do you eat? I tend to go for the desserts and the junk food and I eat more carbs and I end up gaining weight after because I've eaten more. So a false sense of security. Yeah. <laughs> now, who, who has the opposite sense that when you, here, pass it down, two down from you. Now you, you actually think that you eat I, less. I eat less. I think it makes me eat less. Also, when I wear them, I, I it's so tight, I make me feel like I'm going to pass out. And I tell my friends, <laughs> if I pass out, just cut them off me, and I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll totally be fine. I love that. Other thoughts here? Here, pass it up. Two, two up, two above you. Go ahead. I, I have the same experience. I don't eat as much. I think I'm a little more conscious of my waist being pulled in. It's reminding you. Yeah. I, the same. But I also don't like it because... The fat comes out somewhere else. Yes. If it's up to here, it's spilling out yes, over your arm. That's right. Arm. It accentuates it's up to here, bulges. It's spilling out over your that's back. That's right. That's right. So here's, I'll give you my opinion, everybody, if you don't mind. Uh, my thoughts are if you want your shape where it's fine, you want them to leave a lasting impression on the people around you, not on your body. So if they're so tight, they're leaving dark grooves in you. That's not good for you. But you know what? We actually went to social media on this, and we had so many different opinions, including one from Amanda, which is very different from any of the ones you've heard here. She said, regardless of what we eat, shapewear is a reminder that you wish to look differently than you actually do. Sucking yourself into it makes me feel anything but sexy or confident. So lots of ways looking at this. I think you, most people have an opinion, so go to my Facebook page and weigh in. We'll have a lot of comments there. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on new videos to live the good life.